I'm in Dotsie and today's video is going to be a major haul video from Joann's and Michael's Craft Store. Sorry if I look a little bit of a mess. I've been running around going to different appointments and Target today. So let's get started with this haul. I'm going to start with Joann Fabrics first and then do um, Michael's last because I didn't really find a lot of things at Michael's this time around. Um, I don't know if anyone else's Michael's is like this, but my Michael's has really gone downhill it seems. Um, it seems like the quality of the products that they have in stock and stuff just aren't that great anymore. But I did get a couple things from Michael's, so we're gonna start with Joann's. So Joann's yesterday um, had like a 50% off everything, especially the clearance items. And we got a lot of um, fall decor because it was on sale surprisingly. And they had some really cute selections. So first thing I'm gonna show you is this pillow of leaves. I really like this. It looks like stamped leaves almost looks like homemade in a way. I bet you can make this at home with like just outside leaves or something. So it just has um, leaf patterns on it in different colors and then a little leather piece on the bottom. So I got that. Seeing if it had the price on it. No, it didn't. So that's the first thing. We also got mugs, which we didn't need any more mugs because we currently have like two and a half cabinets full of mugs to the top and one half one full of mugs. So we have a lot of mugs. I love collecting different mugs from different states. I'm all over the Starbucks mugs. I love getting the different state and different places um, Starbucks mugs. So we have a lot of those. Also a lot of Disney mugs and, and friends mugs. So here's the mugs we got. This one has a little pumpkin and it says, oh my gourd, it's fall. I thought that was hilarious. And I just really like the color of this. I think it's funny. I think it's funny. They also had a mug that says it's fall y'all. And I really like that one because I tend to say y'all a lot um, just day to day. I don't know why, but I say y'all a lot. So there's that one. And then this one just says, I love fall most of all. And then it has a little um, leafy pattern. So there's that. We also got two signs for the mantle. This one says fall sweet fall. And in the middle, it has a little um, leaf print. I think that looks really good. And this was $9, so the price is on it. So this was US $9, can Canada $12.99, but it was on 50% off. Then we got this one, which is the same price as the other signs. But this one says, falling leaves, cozy sweaters, bonfires, pumpkins, hay rides, friends, family, blessings. I really like this one too. And then this one, the falling leaves, pumpkins, and blessings are in different colors from the black print. So we got that. Also, I got this Frozen 2 No So Fleece Throw Kit. I've done um, Two of these so far. I have a friend's one that just says Central Park and then a, another frozen one and then I have another frozen one which I didn't complete that a lot but I like this one. It's Elsa Knot and it says Fearless on it and Fearless is kind of my word. Um, it has a big meaning for me. I have it tattooed and I, I needed this in my life. <laughs> so we got that. Trying to put it back in bed. Okay. So then I got some Halloween stuff because they were getting Halloween stuff. Um, so I got this little mold, and this mold has 
uh, pumpkins and the pumpkins have different faces. I think they're kind of funny looking. I really like the normal pumpkin, but like the silly looking pumpkins are also really cool. So this is just um, sil a silicone mold. I think it's for food. Yeah, it says bakeware. But what I'm gonna use it for is to make homemade soap. Um, I really like making like homemade soap every once in a while. So I thought this mold would be um, really fun and cute to make different soaps. Little pumpkin soaps. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? Okay, then I got a ton of socks. Like a ton of socks. I already have two drawers. drawers full of socks already. I am a sock addict. I have a ton of socks, especially fuzzy ones. Just every time I see a cute sock, I have to get it. Um, especially if they have cats, llamas, and sloths on it. So here's the first pair. I think it's cute. It has a little black cat on it with orange eyes and little pumpkins beneath. Then the back of them just have pumpkins. Then I got this pair of knee-high socks. Isn't it cute? It's like the llama or an alpaca. It doesn't say. It's either a llama or an alpaca. Either way, it's cute. So that's the little llama or alpaca. It's really soft too. You can tell this is like really good quality. And it has three pumpkins stacked up on the back. And it has just little stripes that remind me of um, Wizard of Oz. Then I got this, and this is also knee high socks. And it has a black cat with green eyes, and then purple and black stripes. So I think that's really cute. So those, oh, I got one more pair. This one has a sloth on it. And the sloth's wearing a little witch's hat. And then there's little sparkly pumpkins on it. Really cute. Okay, here's a little craft kit I got. And this is just a plaster magnet kit. And it comes with paint and a paintbrush. I have my own paint that I like to use, so I'm probably not gonna use this paint pot thing and the brush because no offense to these kits but they kind of um give you cheaply made paint and brushes like I had a kit like this with this kind of paint and the paint was like literal color glue so I got this because I thought it was cute it's gonna be fun to paint and then put it on the fridge then I got Two more of these Fab Lab Craft um, plastic containers that I really like. And I use these for um, my Diamond Dots um, gem thing. So I got two of those. Then, this is exciting, I got my first container of washi tapes. So this has 13 different rolls of washi tapes and I got this for my diamond painting kits because I don't, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've ordered um, my first ever um, diamond art club canvas and it's my first full canvas. And I know that people like to put washi tape around it, um, around the sticky edges so there won't be hair and stuff while you're, you know, doing the design. And I mostly do partials, so I didn't really need this then, but now that I'm getting into um, doing full drills, um, I decided to pick up washi tape. So this is just your basic washi tape. It doesn't really have that many fun designs, but it's just darker colors of washi tapes. Some with little polka dots, stripes, and other things. So I got these because they're kind of like neutral, and I feel like I would prefer neutral um, more than just over the top. Next 
thing I got was these two canvases and I love doing these um, little kits. And this one is a Hello Fall canvas. So it has a little porcupine, I think, on it. So it has a porcupine, the design. So I thought this would be fun to do. And then this one is Harvest Friends. So it has two little um, scarecrows on it and it says Harvest Friends. So I got these. I think they're cute and I'm excited to paint them. Okay, I think this might be the last bag. No, I have two more bags. Okay, so this one's really fragile, but this is another fall decor thing. I got this fashion pumpkin, that's what it says, and it's by Place and Time. It's just, it's stunning, and I'm definitely going to put this um, on my dresser or something. So it's just like that. This thing is broken. Look at that. The little um, stem is broken. I don't want to like bend it too much. I seriously got a broken one. I'm probably not going to return it. I'm probably just going to try to like glue gun it if it does fall off completely. Oops. That sucks. I kind of feel like this is cheaply made then. Oh well. Still cute, but kind of sucks that it was broken. Didn't even realize that till just now. Um, it's okay though. Okay. Okay, here's another little pumpkin I got. It is a glam pumpkin, that's what I'm gonna call it. And it has all these little sparkles on it. And I love sparkles. I don't know. They're kind of falling off, which is understandable because they're probably like glued on or something. It's legit falling off <laughs> into my hand, but it's still cute. At least the stem's not broken. And it's just really glittery. So that's all the things I got at Joanne's. Now let's go to Michael's. So the first thing I got on Michael's was this little um, simple lap desk. And it has this little pillow on the back, so you could just, you know, do that. And then it has a little tray thing right here where you could probably put a pencil or whatever you're using and you could just carry it around. So I got this. Then I got two of these foam poster board things. Um, they call them fuzzy posters and these are by um, Rose Art. So I got two of these and they come with little markers but I'll probably use my own. No offense to them. So this is just a kind of um, mandala or a mandala. I don't know. And this one is a fox on one side. Then it comes with a elephant on the other side. And the elephant doesn't, it does not look like it's fuzzy. But the front one is. So I got that. Then I got two pop figures. I do collect these from at least the movies and TV shows that I like. So I have all of the Good Place pop figures and I love those. And those are on a shelf in my bedroom 
Then I have a Harley Quinn one. And then I have Anna, baby Anna, like little Anna from Frozen, um, Olaf, the Knock, the Water Horse, and Sven. So they have these there. So I got Kristoff with this little guitar ukulele or whatever. Then I got Elsa because I didn't have her yet. I really want to get Bruno, but the store that has them is like, 24 minutes away or like 34 minutes away and I'm just I don't know I don't feel like driving that far I guess so I have these I think they're cute I'm gonna add them to my shelf probably like tonight if it fits then I also got more Crayola markers um, this is the Crayola signature line and they have sketch and detail dual tip markers create great for drawings and lettering so here's the dual tip so one side is um, larger than the other tip so I already have a kit like this but this one has um, some different colors and some of them were like drying out the ones I did have so I just got those. And I have one more bag. I have to grab it, sorry. Okay, last bag. I guess this is how YouTubers get thumbnails, so I don't know. I feel like Peter Mon. Any of you guys watch him? He's always like with his um, thumbnails and he leaves it in the videos. I love him by the way. If you've not watched Peter Mon, you gotta check him out. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, I like to make soap. So I ended up getting more scents for the soap um, that I'm gonna be doing. So here's this one. This one has scents, Midnight Jasmine, Sweet Pea, Gardenia, and Lavender. So here's all of those. Then the other one I got is more fruity. So this one's Apple Blossom, Pomegranate, Strawberry, Crazy, I don't know, and Orange. So I got those. Then I got two um, coloring and uh, sketch, learn how to sketch books. So the first one I got is a learn to draw Disney Frozen 2 book. So there's Olaf. And it basically just shows you how to uh, draw the characters from the movie and show. It has some other things in it. Pretty cool if you ask me. I hope they're easy to do and I don't know if I'll actually use this. I just got it because it was frozen to be honest. Um, I don't know if I'll actually try to draw them. I mean I maybe but like I kind of just got it because it was frozen. <laughs> Not gonna lie. And then I got a Descendants too, a wicked cool coloring book. Now I'm 19 <laughs> and I still like Disney stuff. I do not watch Disney Channel or any of that anymore because to be honest, the shows suck now. Um, the prime time of Disney Channel was definitely in the 90s and early 2000s, um, but I will, watch the Disney original movie Descendants because those movies were actually really good. Um, the person who directed and did High School Musical also helped with the Descendants films and I highly recommend them. Um, of course they're like a little corny and a little weird at some part, parts but you have to keep in mind that Disney did them and Disney Channel specifically tends to get corny here and there. But this movie is about um, the villains kids from the Disney movies. So like 
Cruella de Vil, um, the queen, the uh, fairy god mother, and that kind of stuff. Fairy godmother's the bell, but I couldn't think of villain kids. Um, Maleficent, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and then the good creatures or the good characters, um, parents and children. So it's basically about their children and stuff. It's really good and interesting to me. So I just got this Disney coloring book, so. It's really pretty. So it basically just has, you know, the characters from the movie. She's my favorite. She's um, called Evie and she's the evil queen's daughter. She's my favorite character. Then it has um, quotes from songs and movie quotes and stuff like that. So it just looks like a fun um, coloring book. How they did it is kind of interesting with the um, grayscale or whatever. Kind of interesting. So yeah, I got this. This is actually like really cool. The designs are um, double-sided, so there's like a picture on here, a picture on the back. I'm not a big fan of coloring books doing that because if I want to use markers, I don't want to use it and then ruin um, the back design. So I'll probably use color pencil or crayon, mostly colored pencil, let's be honest, on these. I would be like too afraid to um, use marker and fear that I would like ruin the back page. So yeah, I got this. Let me know down below in the comments um, if you want me to do a flip through of this coloring book or the flip through of how to draw Frozen 2 characters in the comments down below. So that's all I got at Michael's and Joanne's, um, at least this run. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at DiamondDotsy and on Twitter I am at Purring Rachel. Um, I'll have all the links down below and if I can find all these items online, I'll also link all the items I got down below as well. I hope you have a wonderful day, guys, and stay safe. Bye.